Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. All about earthquakes. We live on this beautiful planet called Earth. Our planet is home to more than 7 billion people. All across the surface of the Earth, living things can be found roaming the lands or dwelling in the waterways. Our seemingly still planet hides a different world under its surface. The Earth is made of four basic layers. A solid crust, a hot, nearly solid mantle, a liquid outer core, and a solid inner core. The crust is the part of the Earth we live and walk on. This is a solid layer that holds the land and the oceans. The mantle, right below, is almost solid. The top layer of the mantle and the crust together form the lithosphere. Just below the mantle is the outer core. This is an ever-moving layer of nickel and iron. The inner core of the Earth is solid and made up of mostly iron. An earthquake is a powerful shaking of Earth's surface, the crust. The shaking is caused by movements and pressure in Earth's outer core. The non-stop movement in the outer core causes stress on the Earth's crust. When the stressors get too much, it leads to cracks in the crust called faults. Earthquakes have been recorded on every continent on Earth. Though the crust of the Earth is solid, it is not one continuous piece. Instead, it is a group of pieces that fit together like a huge puzzle. These puzzle pieces are called tectonic plates. The locations where the tectonic plates match up are called fault lines. When tectonic plates move, it causes movement at the faults. An earthquake is the sudden movement of Earth's crust at the fault line. Scientists and researchers use what is called a seismograph to measure earthquakes. There are four causes of earthquakes. The first is tectonic, which occur because of movement of the tectonic plates. Earthquakes are also caused by volcanic activity. They can come before or after a volcanic eruption. Human activity can also lead to earthquakes. One such activity is the use of explosions. Nuclear explosions can trigger earthquakes. Another human activity that can trigger an earthquake is mining. Collapse earthquakes occur around mining caves. The area below the surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter. The area on the surface right above the hypocenter where the earthquake started is called the epicenter. Scientists use these information to track 
record and to find out more about earthquakes. The tectonic plates move in three main ways during an earthquake. In some cases, called a transform or strike and slip method, the tectonic plates slide past each other. In other cases, we find divergent or normal movement. In this case, the tectonic plates pull away from each other and new crust is formed along the fault line. Tectonic plates also converge. In this form, they will move towards each other, forming high mountain peaks. This is also called thrust. Earthquakes are natural phenomena that scientists and researchers cannot predict. Earthquakes can be dangerous and can cause a lot of damage to buildings, roadways, and can even claim lives. It is important to know a few ways to protect oneself in the case of an earthquake emergency. If you are inside, stay inside. Drop down to the floor and move under a sturdy table or desk. Cover your head and neck. Then hold on to the legs of the table or disc until the shaking stops. Even after the shaking stops, it is important to be careful walking around. Be sure to watch your footing as aftershocks are also known to follow earthquakes. These are tremors that come after the main earthquake. One of the most destructive earthquakes to occur in U.S. history happened in April in 1906 in San Francisco, California. The quake did not last long, however, it triggered other events like fires and some burned for three days. There was a lot of devastation after that earthquake. Our vast planet is riddled with mystery and wonder. There is so much left to be uncovered, so much left to be explored. One thing is for sure, we need to do our part to ensure that this planet is here for generations to come. Take care of the planet, take care of yourselves. Thank you for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.